All right, it is time for another episode of Object Hide and Seek here in Disneyland. We are heading to the last location in Frontierland where we hit a penny. We are gonna head in and see if it's still there. Come on. Oh my gosh. So do we leave it? Do you think we leave it and see if, and give them we'll another take it opportunity? Down and take it down and show them. The Donald Duck one that we put up there is still there. I think we put it back. All right, let's show them where it is. And give them another opportunity. Yeah, okay. yeah, do okay. it. All right, All right it's so there. It's back up there again. So come and find it and make sure you comment down below if you do. Lisa. Hi everybody, I'm Lisa behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Melissa. Welcome to our channel and welcome to season two. We are blasting off to infinity and beyond and we don't want you to miss a minute of the fun. So in order to do that, you need to click that subscribe button down below. Also, click that cute little bell down there. Click that little bell so that you get a reminder and a notification every time we upload something new. We have made it to Critter Country right here in Disneyland. And today we have for you some history and some hidden secrets about this land. This land covers approximately five acres right here in Disneyland. Let's get started. Right as you're heading into Critter Country, you should come ashore for some dockside dining right here at Fowler's Harbor. This area was named after Admiral Joe Fowler. He was hired by Walt Disney himself in the 1950s in order to oversee all of the construction of Disneyland. He actually became Disneyland's first general manager, and this has always been a reminder of Mr. Fowler. One of the things though, when they were building the Mark Twain Riverboat, Mr. Fowler told Walt Disney that they needed a dock so that it could be parked right up next to the dock and it needed to be a dry dock. Walt Disney wasn't really sure how he felt about that because it was going to take up so much real estate here in Disneyland, but he ended up listening to him after all because he knew that he was the expert in it, being that he was a naval admiral, and that is where this has now continued to be right here in Disneyland, and they also have the best clam chowder in the park if you decide you want to head over here to get a bite to eat. We're now going to head down a secret path into Critter Country and show you another little pathway in. Let's go. This 
became Bear Country. And three weeks after opening, they opened one of the largest attractions, Country Bear Jamboree. It was a really, really great show with animatronics that were bears singing and dancing and putting on a show for everyone to see. This land in 1972 cost $8 million to open. We've made it to Hungry Bear Restaurant, and this actually used to be called the Golden Lodge Restaurant. They had a mile-long bar and an arcade, which I'm sure was really, really fun. The arcade does not exist any longer, but the restaurant still exists as Hungry Bear Restaurant. You can get a delicious salad or, of course, a wonderful hamburger here. In 1988, this land changed from bear country to critter country. And one of the reasons they decided to do that is because they wanted to incorporate some other critters into the land other than just bears, but it was also based on the 1946 movie Song of the South, where one of the feature lines is, the people get closer to the critters and the critters get closer to the people. Let's head further in. has actually been in the minds of the Imagineers for many, many years. In 1983, when they completely redid Fantasyland, everyone hoped that a Winnie the Pooh ride would be put in there because it was something that the Imagineers had mentioned. However, it didn't work out because the only place they were going to be able to put it is if they took out Mr. Toad's Wild Ride and put it in that place. And so many people love that ride, they decided not to do it. However, in 1998, when they decided to open Toontown, there was yet another mention of having honey pots that spin around like the teapots inside Toontown. Instead though, based on the success of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, they turned it into Roger Rabbit's Toon Spin. Finally then though, when this changed to Critter Country, this is where Country Bear Jamboree used to be and when they took that out, they finally were able to put in a Winnie the Pooh ride. When this ride first opened, the lines were so long, they were afraid that they had underestimated the line queue. However, it was just because it was a grand opening and ever since then, the lines have settled down just a little bit, but right now at the holidays, they're extra long. to the very end of Critter Country, you'll find Pooh Corner, which is a Winnie the Pooh shop filled with some really, really great treats and some really great souvenirs. But one treat they do have in here is a Tigger Tail, which is marshmallow and chocolate and one of the most popular treats in all of Disneyland, and this is the only place you can get it. Let's head inside. And here are the famous Tigger Tails. Don't they look delicious? Oh my gosh, they look so good. I just want to grab one and bite right into it. Right next to the other entrance to Pooh Corner is Mr. Bluebird's house. And this is just a reminder to have a zippity doo dah day with Mr. Bluebird on your shoulder. You never know what you're gonna find as you head back here to Pooh Corner because right now, Mrs. Claus is back here greeting children. But the other thing is make sure when you get back to Pooh Corner that you look up and look at all of the special memories of things from the past that they have up above Pooh Corner. One of which is the sign that reads Mr. Sanders from the Winnie the Pooh movie. And the other sign is a reminder of the arcade that used to be here when it was Country Bear Jamboree. Another main attraction right here in Critter Country is Splash Mountain. In the summer of 2019, Splash Mountain just celebrated its 30th anniversary, and it is one of the most popular rides in Disneyland. People love going down that 50 foot drop and getting soaking wet. Almost everyone that exits the ride at 
least has a little bit of sprinkles, but some people are completely drenched. But make sure when you are heading down that drop, you smile for the camera because that is one of the most popular ride photos in all the world. This is one of the most bought pictures because you are going down a 50 foot drop and everybody is screaming. But if you're paying attention and you smile, you'll be the prettiest one in the picture. This ride features in the finale animatronics that were actually from the original America Sings right here in Disneyland. And that's one of the things that's so great. They refurbish so many things. When one attraction leaves, they are able to use things from it to create another wonderful, exciting attraction. The primary theme of Critter Country is happiness, joy, and friendship. And all of the critters really, really help remind us of that. One of Winnie the Pooh's famous quotes is, any day spent with you is my favorite day, so today is my new favorite day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Disneyland has so many little teeny tiny gems hidden all over that most people don't even notice, and we really love bringing them to your attention and sharing them with you. I actually learned so much as I was studying Critter Country, and I hope that you learned something too. Remember, in the words of Walt Disney himself, if you can dream it, you can do it. So get out there and live your best life, but not before subscribing to our channel down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.